In this video, I will show you how to browse the file system using Nitro for Mac OS. When you first open the app, it will ask you if you want to browse the file system or the photo library. Here, we're viewing the photo library. It remembers that setting, but you can easily change it. On the Mac, each window contains either Finder folders or the photo library. You can have as many of these as you want. The app will remember the type and position of each window when you reopen the app. To make a new window, go to the File menu. You can choose either a new photo library window or a new file system window. Initially, the file browser will have no folders in it. Because the app is sandboxed, it does not have any access to your disk until you grant it. You do that initially by pressing the Continue button here, which will bring up an open panel. In addition, you can use the Plus button or the File menu. Clicking on a folder will show the contents. You can also open and close the hierarchy by clicking on the control on the left. Nitro by default does not show the contents of subfolders. To do that, click the button at the bottom of the window right here. Nitro will show up to two levels deep of the hierarchy. You can remove folders by right-clicking or by swiping left. In this case, you get a choice of removing it from the app or moving the folder to the trash. The contextual menu has more options as well, including making new folders and renaming them. One word about permissions. Because Nitro stores ratings and edits in XMP sidecars next to your original files, it requires the ability to make changes to any folder you add to it. Nitro can browse read-only folders, but it will not be able to rate, flag, or edit images in those folders. If you add a read-only folder, Nitro will warn you. Images here is a read-only folder. I can add it, but if I try to rate the image, I will get warned. And that's a quick look at the file browser for Nitro.